Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another Black Powder update. Uh, I've just finished my uh, second unit for my first household covery division, or the first British uh, covery division. And these guys are uh, Dragoons. And uh, I'll give you the blurb on them. They are the first King's Dragoons, and they're commanded by Lieutenant Colonel W. Fuller, I believe. Yes, that's right. So there's all the blurb on them. Uh, these guys are Perrys. And uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, I really enjoyed painting them. Um, I, I did my usual uh, style of paint and covery lately of where I basically uh, painted all the horses at once. Now I was going to do uh, some um, how I paint uh, bays and uh, the, what, the, gray, the white greys. Um, on these guys, but I decided to, to withhold that until I start doing my um, front rank horses because um, they actually have no saddles. So um, I can actually, you know, do the tutorial on painting the horse and not have to worry about actually painting in uh, the saddles. So I've decided to just delay those until I uh, start work on my uh, next. Uh, one of the actual household cover units, the either the first or the second, which are the last two that I, that I need to get done. Uh, I also, uh, just off to the side here, if I just uh, spin the camera out, I've actually got a light now. Oops, I'm zooming in when I shouldn't be. Um, so somebody was moaning about the light on my last video, and uh, I mean, I, I personally didn't think it was that dark, but uh, everyone's a critic, as they say. Uh, so I picked up this uh, in the Amazon sale, a LED uh, lamp, which I'm very happy with. Um, I've been after, I've basically, you know, half the time I, I kind of stop painting it when it starts to get dark because um, I've got one of those energy saving bulbs in this room and uh, although it does, after a while, uh, dish out a fair bit of light, it's nowhere near as, as uh, powerful as, as a you know, like a, a 60 or, or a 100 watter. Um, so I, uh, I've got one of those and I've been after one for a while, I've been waiting for them to go down in price enough. Uh, and I managed to put this up for not an amazing price, but a, pr a pretty okay price. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty chuffed to have that extra bit of lighting now. Now I don't think it makes any difference on how it affects this actual video. Um, I mean, I've turned it on now. Uh, I mean, the sun's still in the sky, but I'll have it on in the background anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's give you a close look at these boys. Uh, they, they took me probably a week. Uh, I think I started them last Sunday, uh, and I finished them today. Um, so, best part of a week. Uh, I finished the horses really quickly. Um, I did them all as uh, bays, but lighter bays rather than darker bays. Um, and of course, the... Uh, the white grey for the uh, trumpeter this time, or the bugler, uh, and all of them, like I say, they're all uh, sort of uh, chestnuts of the of a, a lighter shade than I normally do. I normally do sort of dark dark chestnuts, um, but I'm pretty chuffed with how they turned out. I did all the horses in in uh, two days, um, and the riders took me the rest of the week. Uh, for some reason, the riders seem to take a lot longer. Um, but um, again, because uh, I did them in bunches of four, so it was literally just, um, I was finishing four guys in sort of maybe a session and a half. Uh, so what would that be? That would be like from about sort of 10-ish until about sort of 4.30ish, or, or when it starts to get dark, depending on what sort of day it is. Um, and uh, within that sort of period uh, of two sessions, I, I tend to finish four and get, roughly halfway through another four uh, so it's taken me like uh would it be like a two four five uh roughly sort of six days to, to sort of get to this point um although like i say also um i finished the four uh last guys and also uh based them and varnished them and all that sort of stuff uh, and, and uh finished up their basing uh, all today as well and it's currently uh, about 4.30, uh, so it's not too bad going. Um, I've just got a little bit of touch-up work to do uh, still on these guys. I just have to go back and with some um, poly 
urethane gl uh, gloss varnish and I just have to go back and just do uh, the things that are shiny so I'll probably do um, like the horses I'll go back over the horse's eyes and um, possibly all oh, the um, saber tashes I, I, I tend to go over because I like those sort of being a slightly glossier glossier black than, than matte um, but uh, yeah that's, so that's something that I have to do at the end anyway um, but yeah, I'll give you a close look at these. Uh, like I say, these were made up of uh, Perry's, and uh, they basically you basically get like three packs of them um, with, with slightly different positions. You can get the, obviously the command pack, um, the sabers raised, and the sabers shouldered. And you can see that I've done uh, the pack of saber saber shouldered uh, in the middle of the uh, pack here. Um, this guy's a sergeant uh, leading my pseudonym command squad. And then obviously the bugler and the officer here. And then uh, we've got these two guys with the um, their arms stretched out with the sabres. <coughs> Excuse me. That came in the sabres raised pack. Uh, they fit in nicely on, on, on the rear uh, flanks. And of course the guys with the actual proper sort of charging positions or getting ready to charge along with the officer um, up the front. Uh, and I think it makes quite a nice uh, look to the unit. Uh, let's give you a closer look at them. Uh, so here's the uh, one of the rear ranks. You can see uh, that they're more or less exactly the same as uh, uh, household cavalry. Really, uh, the only real difference is they've got a slightly different helmet. Um, they have a uh, sort of a more of a, a, a dragoon's French dragoon style helmet, uh, or uh, than a uh, than the, um, the sort of Mohican style uh, plumes of the uh, the household cavalry, but other than that, the uniforms are practically exactly the same. Um, I think even their sabers are, are pretty much exactly the same too, uh, as is their uh, saddlery as well. I believe. I think I believe there's absolutely no difference between them. Um, but I'm very happy to have my second unit uh, for for this. Uh, Division now. That's that's the sort of halfway mark. Uh, obviously, the next two uh, to come are going to both be uh, household cavalry. Um, here we have the, like I say, the pseudonym clan squad with the sergeant, and he's quite a cool figure. And of course, somebody with a slightly bent sabre there, actually. Try and straight out. Uh, so yeah, we've got uh, lots of variations of horses. Some have got lots of markings, some have got no markings at all. Well, I think they've all got markings of some sort, but some have got a lot less, uh, a lot smaller markings than others. Um, so, that's those guys. Middle. So the, all the command group of the second pseudonym, command, the pseudonym uh, unit, if I split them into threes. And then the final... Uh, opposite side flank really nice figures actually um, I'm trying to think if I've, I've actually done a metal um, I don't think I have you know I think this is the first metal um, Perry's uh, cover unit that I've done um, I mean, obviously I've done uh, Perry's guys on horses uh, from like command packs and kernels and stuff um, but I, I believe this is the first time I've actually uh, had an entire cavalry unit from them. So here we have the first of the command, the uh, charging stands at the front. Um, you can see the uh, saddle arrangements again, again, pretty basic, and uh, nice and easy to do. Um, with the two uh, red sections and then the bit of uh, sort of saddle cloth or whatever on top of that. Uh, some of them have got that sort of browny bit uh, sticking out uh, quite well, which the, of course the wall of plastic ones didn't really have uh, marked down. So that is the first of the Ford units. Then we have the command group. So we have the white grey horse of the Bugler. And the Bugler himself.
and uh, the officer here There we go, and then the final uh, two. Here yeah, again, these sort of tra two charging positions. Some different markings. And there we go. So that is the first King's Dragoons. And if I put them down, uh, if I just quickly grab my um, my uh, Royal Horse Guards, put them together. If I can grab them, I've actually got my uh, all my cavalry that's in this room, which is. Uh, Two Crassier units and, and the, uh, the the British. Uh, these are the third horse guards, uh, Royal horse guards, um, all up on the uh, shelf that normally my uh, British go up on at the moment, because uh, my you know like my my fifth my third corps and my fifth British infantry division are still in the uh, the other room. Uh, they have been for for several months now, um, and. I I think I'll probably keep them in there until I'm ready to bring them back in. I'll need, I'll need to get a friend to help me bring them back in. That's that's the uh, the big sort of point because uh, I've got them all on a sort of four by uh, four uh, two by four uh, board at the moment. So here we have uh, the first King's Dragoons and the third Royal Horse Guards uh, together, and they look uh, quite formidable. And of course, uh, two extra uh, and the. Uh, Two extra cavalry units for the British, of course, which uh, which uh, they badly need. Um, this division was was part of the reason why I decided to do these guys was because um, my British are so uh, underwhelmed with cavalry. Um, and when I actually get round to completing these guys and completing the um, the fourth cavalry division, is it? Uh, let's find them. Yeah, fourth British Cavalry Division, which is the Light Dragoons, they'll basically match uh, my French. They'll have um, the Light Dragoons uh, against the uh, Chasseurs de Cheval, and the uh, Household Cavalry Division against the um, the to be finished Eleventh uh, Cavalry Division, uh, which of course is made up of Dragoons and uh, Cressier. Uh, so that's uh, the end of this video. Uh, what am I going to do next? I uh, haven't totally decided yet. I'm still waiting for my guns from Wayland. I haven't heard anything from them. Um, I've got... I, I did actually do a video of, of, of a haul of stuff that I had in, uh, but I just haven't got around to, to actually putting it up. Um, but I have got my first unit of um, household cavalry in. Uh, I've also got my French Marines in. Um, I, I'm kind of tempted to to do to, to do my um, Imperial Guard Division Commander, so so free out. I've got him uh, here already, um, sort of uh, already primed, and, and I've done the flesh on him with some spare paint. And this horse is undercoated. Uh, he'll end up being a bay actually as well. So I may well do him next, uh, assuming he's already uh, partly on the way. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to turn the light off here to see if it makes any difference. I suppose it, it makes a little bit of difference. Uh, I, I was actually looking at the screen when I turned it off and it did appear to... Uh, just turn it back on again. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, uh, put down in the comments uh, if you notice any difference. Uh, and of course, uh, always welcome to take uh, comments and criticisms. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you all, uh, whatever it may be, in the next one. Uh, so until then, catch you all later. Bye-bye.